Nat 20. Hello everyone, welcome back to Nat 20, where we're continuing on our improv quest of episode 3. Um, hooray. We have picked up a new player, and that is Tony. He has rejoined us. I'm back, baby. <laughs> now, Tony, don't you uh, mind just telling us a little bit about your character before I go through the recap? Sure thing. I My character's name is Sora. She is a dragonborn and a cleric. Um, although she does not have a lot of healing spells, so I'm just going to be swinging my Warhammer the entire time. Very cool. <laughs> All right. Now, last adventure, our party arrived at the beautiful city of Avec Cordon. Uh, a poor, dirty old man was on his way to the tavern to help assist the owner in setting up shop. Mia Gwyn decided it was the best to help the old man, so she joined him and the rest of the party followed. Upon entering the tavern, um, the party quickly-ish found out that the old man was actually there to rob the place and stole a casket of booze and ran out the door. The Nearly immediately after, the party chased the old man down to which Zanzian cut off his head and shoved the body uh, in an old barrel in the alleyway. Also, he ruined Mia Gwyn's net. What can I say? Sneak 100, they'll never find that <laughs> <laughs> They then continued to a higher tier tavern, which they passed a plague section of the city. They exchanged some words about what's going on with the local guard. They moved on to the tavern. Uh, in the tavern, Mia Gwyn went and helped the bartender clean up some dishes in the back and prepare some meals. Uh, Zanzian learned of a group of pirates planning to take over his vessel, docked by the beach below. Uh, and Nifan decided to brawl the toughest, scariest people in the room and won. Somehow, uh, shockingly. <laughs> soon after, the party heard a massive explosion coming from the plague section of the city. Uh, upon approaching the scene, the party witnessed utter chaos as buildings and beings alike were torn apart and destroyed from the blast. Uh, during their investigation, they met the arcane artist Gavin Whittingham, who informed them, uh, informed them of the situation being the city is powered by arcane magic, um, but because there's no, uh, there's so much of it, uh, its radiation leaks from the arcane power and is poisoning the people of the city and killing them slowly each day. Along with the arcane power uh, is becoming unstable and shifting into clumps together around the two levels of the city. Uh, this was the first explosion from one of those clumps. Uh, the party was then informed they must attain dragon's blood, as there is a property in the blood that protects the organic being from the effects of the arcane radiation. <laughs> you need dragon's blood. I'm a dragon boy. <laughs> Get her, boys! <laughs> I, 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 I'm fucking going on. <laughs> uh, the party was then teleported down you below are the, the city. We were gonna find, yeah. <laughs> into the forest below where it is said dragons rest underneath the earthly floors. They navigated through the forest, finding the entrance to the lair, and that is where we will continue. So, you're not here yet, Tony. I'll have okay. to introduce hey. you, but... Sounds good. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll cut one of those out. How so, interesting. currently, the four very of you, Nukan, uh, Anos, Zanzi, and Mia Gwyn, you are all in the entrance to the lair of where it said the dragon rests. There, yeah, the room is, well, pitch black. It's dark, so any of you who don't have dark vision cannot see unless you light a torch. Fuck. Um, <laughs> I light a torch. <laughs> all right. You flare up a torch, and the room is nice. Uh, it's, a, it's, just, it's a very small room with a tunnel that's leading back up. What kind of seal does have dark vision? Correct. Now, currently, you do not know how you're going to get out of here, as I know you don't... Seal. I'm sure sea elves have dark vision. It's the, I would have wrote it down. All elves have dark vision. Yeah, all elves, yeah. elves have dark vision. You should oh. have dark vision. I still light a torch. <laughs> all right. <laughs> just for the traumatic effect. So, the way you guys came in from is just a tunnel that's quite steep, and you don't think that you can definitely climb back up there. It'd be too difficult. So, the room that you're in... Can I try? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. No, one second. Give me a minute. <laughs> all right. You're in a room about... Six feet uh, long and then three feet wide. Uh, directly across from the tunnel is a massive wall. And you think you can hear the sounds of uh, breathing on the other side. Heavy, loud breathing. of <sighs> I don't know I much. I knock on the wall. 
real loud. <laughs> As you go bang, bang, bang on the wall, you hear dragon, <laughs> and you hear the what sounds like the slamming of a massive footstep, and it shakes the whole room, oh, and you see the dust through the the walls, uh, the bricks start trickling down. Uh, uh, with that, you hear the other footstep, and, <laughs> and the room shakes some more. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> All right. We found it! <laughs> Let's proceed, I you guess. You just continue to hear the heavy breathing. But how do you get past the wall? Oh, well. I walk through it. You walk through the wall. <laughs> All right. Uh, something you, tells me it's a magic wow. Well. So you I'm go walk walking into, into the wall and you slam into the wall. <laughs> you bump your head. <laughs> Damn it! I really thought that would work. <clears throat> I look around for secret buttons. Does anybody have a warhammer? I'm a wall. I have a glaive and a net. Ooh, and a short sword and a dagger. Cool. Uh, I look for secret buttons. Or switches. Roll investigation. Oh, yeah. Can I just look around? Matters rule. Roll investigate. Oh, if you're looking around, then roll perception. Epic. I rolled a 10. I rolled a sweet 2, but it's plus 9, so that's 11. Fuck you. I'm rolling 8, now plus 2. 11, 10. Um, Show off. As you're kind of scanning through the wall, it's taking and filling it up, trying to find any hidden switches or such. It's taking you a little longer than where Zanzian is uh, just looking around. He did one. <laughs> one better than me. This is garbage. <laughs> and yeah. right before you found what seems to be a loose brick, he spotted that it was slightly ajar right before you. But you both relatively saw it at the same time. I saw it first. <laughs> I don't say anything. I just grab it and pull it. Fuck! <laughs> All right, you grab Sword it again. <laughs> As you grab the brick, the loose brick, and you pull it from the wall, uh, the whole wall begins to collapse and cave in. All the bricks begin to fall and topple in on each other and spread downwards. Some slide near your feet, the others slide over the other side, and you are in. Uh, you now witness a dark, massive dome uh, to which you see a huge beast uh, in the center, about. 20 feet away from you, resting. Me and Gwen points at, uh, what's your name? Zanzian. Yeah, points at Zanzian. He broke it! <laughs> he broke the wall! How, was him. how big? Uh, well... Uh, gargantuan-sized. Okay, okay. All right. And he it, broke it looks, it. And it looks like a dragon? It looks like an ancient brass dragon. Oh, those Ooh. are good. Oh, we're fucked. Those are, All well, right. those are good nature, I think. Do well, I know that? You do know that. I do know that. Cool. You do know that. I run up to it. Dragon! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you run up to the dragon. He doesn't seem to awaken to your sound. Oh, I uh, I climb up on his face. Like, like because he's so big, I look like a kid. And I just start, like, tapping his face with my hands. As you try to climb up his snout area, uh, it seems to be the easiest way to get on top of his head. You all, the rest of you, witness his eye open. Hello! <laughs> And it's me. No, it's <laughs> the dragon begins an to dragon. stand up and lift its head and you along with it as you oh, are fuck. up there. And you are raised about like a good hundred feet in the air. Holy. How big is this fucking thing? hundred feet? Gantuan size, man. It's a big dragon. No, it's like eight feet tall. Yeah, Gantuan, <laughs> yeah, no. Gantuan's huge. Uh, with that, the dragon then stares down at the three of you. Uh, Zanzi and Anos and Mifand. Why do you disturb my slumber? We need your blood! <laughs> oh my god, okay. okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to rush into that. Uh, I bow and flourish. And I'm like, Greetings, almighty dragon. Um, if we might inquire as to your name, so that we might get off onto the right start. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> Shut up. I think I had a voice for this character, but I can't remember it. I don't think you did. No? I think, because I remember, like, we having that meeting, you are like, yeah, like, in total, just straight Duncan voice. Okay, well, yeah, it sounds all right. good. Yeah. That works out then. Ow. We're not here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to climb around on its head. <laughs> My name is Delmak. Ooh, I like how you pronounce C. <laughs> Delmak. <laughs> Delmak. <laughs> Why are you here? Uh, like we said earlier, we need your blood. <laughs> but it's for a good cause. Not all of it. Just it's a little straight bit. to the point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh honestly, we just need like a needle full. Like, 
like a quick like like they're saying, just a pinch and it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll give you a donut if you feel the shake afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> we have donuts. I have seven donuts. No, I have no donuts. One moment. And he lowers his head. Uh, um, gestures that you step off. I head. don't. <laughs> <laughs> Can I stay on your head, please? <laughs> it's fun up here. Mm, all right, fine. Uh, the dragon then lifts his head and he goes nearly pointing straight up. Um, I'm going to need you to make a strength check oh, that you don't slide <laughs> off. Strength at plus three. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, rough. That's a five. Uh, yeah, you lose your grip on the dragon's uh, scaly head and oh, you fuck. begin sliding down uh, its back. You're bumping into various like horns that are sticking out, slamming into things. It's not a fast fall. It's not a harsh fall, but... Uh, you hit a lot of stuff on the way down. Eventually, you fall off its thigh back on the ground. Uh, you take... Oh, you are now dead. <laughs> 65 uh, points of falling damage. You take 11 points of blood what? damage. Wow. Holy fuck. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. Uh, with that, uh, the Delmac opens his mouth wide and starts breathing fire in a cone around the top of the dome, and it begins lighting the entire top of the dome up. To spread light. Is this like an aggressive action? No. Okay. It just seems like he's lighting up the room. You wish that he returns his head back down towards you all. You just hear Nathan go, ooh. (laughs) (laughs) Ah. (laughs) Um, Fancy. Wow. Make a stealth roll. Oh, shit. Dog. Uh, That's going to be... 17. 17. All right. Yeah. You are... I pass you're currently here. 17. You're actually in the horde behind the dragon. Oh, uh, yeah. The dragon knows you're here, but they don't. But you are. You see them. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've passed perception of 18. You're 18? Yeah, it's really high. <laughs> That's like, what did you roll? That. Uh, 17. I have okay, you spot him. of 19. Yeah. 19? Yeah. Okay, you, never mind. You two spot him then. Cool. What's your... What's, uh, 14. 14? Okay. 15. Do you have evil intentions? All right, so Nifan and Anos are the only two that don't spot you, Sora. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, you notice that Zanzian and Miaguin seem to have made eyes over in your direction. Fuck! As soon as I guess, <laughs> I'm just like, if your friend might come out into the light... Attack! <laughs> <laughs> Sora, step forward. Uh, all right. I uh, <laughs> I walk up from the the shadows just uh to the side of them. All right, you are all greeted with a uh, dragonborn. What are you wearing? Leather armor. Leather armor. Um, is that any specific color? It's just plain leather armor. So like sexy leather armor. <laughs> yeah. Does it show off the tits? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, What's your cup size? <laughs> leather bikini. <laughs> <laughs> It's a full like leopard suit. Nice leopard print, leopard print, leather armor. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> no, it's just some leather armor, kind of under a uh, a navy blue robe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I run, so- up, I run up to this stranger and I'm like, "What are your intentions?" And I pull out my glaive and I start like poking. <laughs> Maybe if it's not, <laughs> all right. It's supposed to help people. Yeah, I th- the dragon. I think he's going to steal the dragon's things. He just acknowledged that they knew each other. Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I put my glaive away. Sorry, I just hit my head really hard. <laughs> I'll hit your head hard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Me, Gwen, is uncomfortable. <laughs> Feel quiet, dragon's blood. Take Sora. She's a dragonborn. Can we kill her? Please. What? Is that That's, what you mean? What's your alignment? <laughs> Chaotic neutral? Okay. Yeah. Like, are we supposed to kill her? I don't think we need that much blood. I don't know. Not Hello. if I kill you first. <laughs> I'll cut you where you stand, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut you where you stand! Man. What do you need the blood for? There's this magic city we were at that needs dragon's blood for magic purposes. Do you help the city? <laughs> you mean the city above my lair? Probably. 
Yes. Wait, you're not like directly below it. You're like it's below yes, yes. a few hundred feet away. It's the city above your lair. Yeah. I have a proposition. Ooh, okay. Proposition me. Deal I... or no deal. <laughs> You will not know, but that city is the reason why I lie in the Slayer. It is my jailer. Its magic keeps me bound underneath the ground. I like where this is going. If you can release the magic, you can set me free, and I will give you rewards for my hoard. Anything can be done for the right price. <laughs> and some blood. And some blood. Uh, a so- he means like it, he's gonna like destroy the city so he can be oh, free. Yeah, that's, I thought it was some magic we had to undo. So if we take his side, we won't need. I don't know blood. how to do magic. <laughs> 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 what? Why are you? Why are you being jailed? Are you a bad guy? No, it was Please. a mistake. My brother, Brylond, an ancient black dragon. Ooh. They mistaken for me before him at night. He set me up. Told me here's where I could find sanctuary safety from the people who hunted me. Can I insight check? Yeah, I was bitch? just about to say that. Yeah. Yeah, you can. I have excellent insight. I have a plus two. Twenty-one. Uh, Twenty-one. Did I, I have know, a plus eight. Did I know his intentions. If me and him oh are friends God, you, would, yeah. okay. you know his intentions are he, roll just wants to get out of here. Roll. he was hunted okay. by a party uh, before from a different area Sick. of the land well, he's my friend so yeah I rolled a 17 17 you have a feeling that he's being honest cool. and true I immediately take your side <laughs> 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 that city was full of slums I kind of want to go back and kill people anyway <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean the first person we met Tried to rob somebody. No. So we killed them. Wonderful story. <laughs> Thank you. Look. Me, so Gwen's much. blushing. And, uh, <laughs> to undo the magic of the city is no easy task. You must find the man in charge of the arcane's power. We already did. Was that Gavin? That yeah. was Gavin. Gavin. Oh, fucker. Well, to be honest, the magic is kind of already just undoing itself. Yeah, you. So. How do you feel about waiting a few weeks? <laughs> <laughs> Let it happen naturally. I do not want to waste that time. All right. well, it's like yeah, six days. I have a weeks. task. Oh, right. <laughs> My bad. I have hatred and a task I must attend to. What task? Killing my brother. Oh, cool. Can we help? <laughs> <laughs> I hate. Black dragons! <laughs> One thing at a time. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Will you help me? Sure. I'm what? 100% in. I 100% don't see any reason why we should help those people at all. <laughs> <laughs> as long as there's gold, gold involved, I'm in. Very good. You will take Sora with you. She will be your companion. I don't oh, trust yeah, that bitch. <laughs> I'll make sure they get the job done right. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Right. <sighs> the dragon well. kind of breathes and takes <laughs> a moment to <laughs> contemplate <laughs> thought. Very interesting. <sighs> That's all I have for you for now. Find that master of magic. Figure out, but do not kill him immediately. Okay. His killing will not undo the, the city. <sighs> Should we bring, Should we bring him, him here? back here? Yeah. Do not bring him back here. Okay. <laughs> so what? I don't want to just you must find the source. He's the only one that knows where that is. Get him to find it. Lead it to you. Can we take some blood then to trick him? Yes, you may. Sweet. The dragon will kind of put its uh, front paw forward and slam it right in front of you down Does to draw blood from. Have full bottles. I think I do. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I have four bottles of liquor right now. Right. So Nathan starts drinking one and just keeps chugging and chugging and chugging and chugging. Roll con. Nice. Uh, eleven. Eleven. You're tipsy, but you're okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take my glaive and just like, just like a little quick, like a eh, little nip on his toe. Uh, you notice that the dragon doesn't flinch at all when you do that. Mm, and you're, you're able so to strong. fill a bottle up with the blood. Okay. 
You're so strong. Take the wheel. I will lead you up and out of this cavern. And the uh, dragon will lower his head just to let you uh, go on his head once more. Careful, guys. It's pretty slippery up there. <laughs> Uh, and as you all do so, he raises his head up to the top of the dome. Um, While I'm on his head, can I look for any loose scales and try and take one real sneaky like? Roll sleight of hand. Okay. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Plus zero. Now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he falls just, out. <laughs> <laughs> just like yanking on one side of his face. <laughs> the dragon's head is rising up to let you guys out of his lair. Mm. Uh, you you all notice that he goes, that Zanzian goes to tug a scale from the head of the dragon, but the head of the dragon's scales are a little more sensitive than the rest of the body. And as you tug on it, you notice the dragon goes, <laughs> and his whole head <laughs> jerks to the right really quick. Everyone makes strength saves. You uh, fucking idiot! Damn. Strength saves? Strength mm. saves. Nine. Fourteen. Rolled a Eighteen. Not twenty. Uh, 14. 14. Zanzian, you lose your grip. <laughs> you slip off the top of the dragon's head going down. Uh, make a deck save. I'm just doing what comes As you naturally. slide down the side of the a dragon's face. It comes natural. 11. Comes 11. Natural. As you reach the bottom of the jaw and you're about to fall off, you manage to grab onto a small horn jutting out and hold yourself up. <laughs> Don't Why would you do that? <laughs> As you, the big eyes just staring down at you. Sorry, I'm a creature of instinct. I just do what I feel is right. <laughs> <laughs> do not touch the scales. The tackle. The creature will then continue rising. Uh, the dragon will continue rising the head and. Can uh, I try again? I'll help. No, <laughs> I'll help it. Zanzi, no. Actually, no. Okay. I'm not that stupid. Uh, Delmac will then tip his head slightly upwards and then jut his head forward into the rock and oh. make a huge hole. Oh. And uh, okay. it makes a perfect, like, almost skylight-type deal. Uh, and then he puts the top of his noggin in line with the hole, and you guys are outside once more. I take uh, Zanzian? Yeah. Yeah, I take, I take your hand by the wrist, and I turn it so your knuckles up, and I give a quick smack. <laughs> <laughs> I belly you in the face. <laughs> Ow! Fuck! <laughs> 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 Alright, uh, as you resurface, uh, it is storming currently. There's rain. Hot damn. It's heavy rain. It's you notice that there's lightning striking through the clouds above you. It is gloomy and dark. Uh, the city of Avec Cordon is uh, currently lit up with uh, various candlelights and stuff from the citizens in there. Uh, you notice that you see the portal that leads you up into the city. Uh, ahead of you, about 200 feet. Cool. 200 feet is too far. Where's my ship? Uh, your ship, you don't currently see the beach right now. How so you can't see your ship. How far, roughly, what I think it is? Uh, roughly, you know, it's not that far. It's probably from the city, so about 500 feet to the I left. Take so off to the west. For my ship. You take off for I your take ship? take off for my ship. Are you heading okay. to Zantian? <laughs> I have some business to take care of. Some business with a ship? Yeah. Feel free to join. I will. Gonna kill some people. It's gonna be fun. Nefan will join too. Hell he's yeah. A sailor. <coughs> we just agreed to help this dragon though. <laughs> we will. In a I minute. Other matters to attend. Mia, Gwen, <laughs> Sora. Do you join as well? Is the dragon's head like still there? He... No, the dragon removed his head now. Oh, it's back okay. I was like, he's just hearing us. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's leaving immediately. Okay, I guess we can do the ship thing. You guys, we're supposed to... <laughs> Shut up! I don't trust you! <laughs> um, I guess I will follow only to see where they're going. Cool. To try to stray them back on, on track. Okay. Uh, you began all rushing towards your vessel, um, Zanzian. Uh, you reach there roughly within ten minutes. Cool. Um, and upon approaching, you notice that there's a huge fucking hole. In the side of the vessel. My boat! My fucking boat! <laughs> a massive hole. Uh, it's kind of toppled over. Uh, also, about 20 feet away from your vessel is another huge black crater that you saw before. And your ship looks empty. It looks deserted. I keep going. I, I'm going to investigate. Whose okay. boat is that? Is this your ship? Yeah. It's mine. 
doesn't look so hot. Yeah, All right, as you walk into your vessel through the hull. <laughs> I'm going to do it real sneaky like. All right, real stealthily. stealth. I'll wait outside and I'll start picking up debris. So like making a nice pile. Okay. Cleaning up the shoreline. Eight. Eight. (laughs) All right. Uh, As you step into your vessel, there's a lot of broken pieces and clutter around. Mm So every step you're taking, it's making noise that's echoing through the rest of the hull. Okay. Uh, Cracking of wood and other such materials. You notice that there's a lot of what seems to be burnt skeletons in your hull. Cool. Uh, Some are Bones flying uh, seem to be distributed everywhere. Uh, as you continue to investigate, walking through, uh, uh, there uh, it goes from just utter what looks like to be utter explosion to just dead people, your crew, who look to have been slain, killed, massacred. Some of them are strung up on the walls. Wow! Someone's gonna fucking die for this. Then you see uh, you, invited you don't there. see your captain, but you found his hat. I take his hat. As you pick up the hat, it reveals a note underneath. Mm -hmm. I'm the captain, (laughs) though. What's it say? You big loser. (laughs) The note is written in Undercommon. I can't read Undercommon. What a shitty comment. Can anybody read this? (laughs) (laughs) As Zanzian comes hurling out of the hall and screaming, can anybody read this? I don't know. What kind of hat is it? It's it's a very large, wide-brim, all-around... Uh, hat with a massive feather nice. okay. on the side, made of red velvet. Out. Actually, it's not the, the hat. I'm looking for. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. If I speak it, I didn't actually pick like languages, so I speak of this. Who does speak Undergarmen? I'm not allowed to pick languages anyway. I guess. Yeah, I only speak common and Elvish, obviously. Don't you get like? Another language for your background or whatever? I'm folk hero and just let me pick one. No, okay. Otherwise I would, but... Okay. Alright. Well, you lot are fucking useless. <laughs> hey, fuck you! And there's nobody alive? Nobody alive that you see. Okay. You've only investigated the hull so far. I'll go back into the ship. I'm gonna do a full search. Alright, as you go to the higher decks, um, they look mostly intact. Uh, not really damaged, although things have been knocked over and broken. Uh, tables have been, the table legs have been smashed, the cots have been torn down. Uh, you find more dead bodies, except they're wrapped up in the cots fabric. Mm. Um, as you go to then your uh, the top deck, it looks relatively untouched, looks like nothing went on up there. But you go into the captain's cabin, and you see our captain uh, in the chair, but the chair is facing away from the doorway, mm-hmm. and the captain is just sitting there. I enter and I approach him. The uh, captain. As you approach your captain, you go around to the side, and you see it. There's a massive dagger in his forehead. <laughs> he's still alive. And he's, he's dead. He's a unicorn now. I take the dagger. All right, you pull out a lovely gold dagger. Cool. Great. No, Stained with your captain's blood. Great. So what about the dragon? <laughs> Are you even here? Yeah, I yeah. followed you guys because I'm trying to get gonna, you back. And... I stab her. No. <laughs> <laughs> I Roll the hit. Fucking mouth. Roll the hit with a dagger. Oh my god. What is that? Is that dex or is that strength? Dex. For a dagger. Okay. Seven plus three ten. It's an acid. That does. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Sorry. Fifteen. 15? That's your AC? 15. Uh, match goes to the defender. You do not hit. As you go to shank the dagger, That's it just kind of collides with the leather armor, but uh, Sora then is able to also grab your wrist and prevent it from going too far. Okay, I take my other hand with the other dagger and plant it in her neck. <laughs> oh. Roll the hit! Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 20, 30, 20. <laughs> <laughs> wait, guys, wait! <laughs> or you plant your other dagger as you swing it up quickly and aggressively straight in the side of Sora's neck. And uh, mm-hmm. you. Oh, God. Okay. You Do drop, you have anything to stop this? You have a dagger in your neck. You drop to your knees. Alright. Um, You're currently bleeding out well, through the wound. I with my other hand, my dagger, and I stab it <laughs> right in the fucking thigh. 
Roll the hit. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I stabbed him in his neck. <laughs> <laughs> and then you guys just start, like, repeatedly stabbing each other in the neck. <laughs> so it's strength, right? It's strength, yeah. Well, it's with daggers either. Strength or dex. Uh, dirty 20. <laughs> uh, damn it. You <laughs> stab Zanzian successfully in the thigh, and you have now as a huge I, stab wound in your thigh with a dagger in it. Yeah, and as I do that, I say, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute yeah after you stab me in the, the neck it makes you stumble back and you're now leaning against the wall alright whatever I take the dagger out and keep it what and my, my just... hand's still in it like uh, holding the dagger in oh. your I'm not just gonna okay at this point you both are in the captain's cabin <laughs> bleeding out uh cool me was just gonna knock on like the door and like peek in <laughs> hey guys oh what the fuck <laughs> I remove my dagger from her neck and I'm going to try and knock her hand away and, like, take the dagger out of my leg. The evil dragon has well, betrayed us! Uh, <laughs> as you, like, remove the dagger from my neck, I'm going to remove mine from your thighs. So, like, okay, sure, whatever. Alright, so away. the daggers <laughs> get removed from your neck, Sora, and you from your thighs, Anzian. Uh, there's a lot more blood coming from your wounds now, Sora. You fall to the ground and go on con, or roll con, actually. What? Roll con. Did you just got stabbed in the trace? neck. Yo, man, I got 37 hit points. I think I'm still good. <laughs> you were stabbed in the you neck. You just stabbed right in the <clears throat> neck. Con saving throw? Con saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, that's a three. <clears throat> All right, you Sorry, fall to the ground, <laughs> and your eyes roll to the back of your head. You're unconscious. Uh, roll con for me, Zanzian. Yo, I already hate you. <laughs> Guys, there's some weird uh, shit going on. 22. Here. 22. Uh, yeah, your wound is not as severe, so you slide down uh, the wall to a sitting position, and you're just kind of holding your hand over the wound. Cool. But you're you're holding in there. All right. Why don't I stab you again? Still bleeding out. I just said, what about the dragon? Because I just... Oh, I, yeah, because <sighs> my captain just got fucking murdered. All right. Hey. Um, I don't really care. Why, why'd you do that? <laughs> Zanzian, is the dragon born evil? Oh, she's she being a bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go use lay on hands. Yeah, go ahead and heal her. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use lay on hands on uh, Sora. Okay. I'll give you a, All right. Yeah, you like gotta do five that. hit points. Nifend looks kind of disappointed that he missed a fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Sora, you you regain your uh, you reawaken. I'm, your eyes come back to the light. <laughs> I apply lay on hands with a full blown just massage. And I just like start massaging. <laughs> you feel your scales being massaged, um, and you feel that uh, your neck wound has closed up. It's time for a, a deep cleanse. Don't worry. <laughs> you take a deep <laughs> breath in. Your lungs <laughs> fill up, and then you exhale. You regain consciousness. Hey, right. sweet. Hey, what's your name? Just tell me your name. Are you feeling okay? How oh, sweet. What Lord. day is it? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, he's got a concussion! Yeah. Uh, my name's Sora. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, I'm just gonna get up. <laughs> cool. Uh, What's your name again? Me and Gwen. Me and Gwen? And what was that other guy? Zanzian. Oh, okay, he's a bitch. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I'm just oh, in the doorway. Then I don't say that. Yeah, he's like right. right across from <laughs> you, okay, leaning yeah. on, or sitting. Actually, below. no, I do. <laughs> All right. Can I? Uh, I don't care. Can I look around the captain's quarters? See if there's anything cool. Yeah, roll this. Yeah, go ahead and try to steal something. I fucking dare you. I rolled a fifteen. No, 15? wait. Sorry, investigations too. So no. Nah. <laughs> Never mind. So you rolled a two. I rolled a seven plus two. Oh, seven plus nine. two. Nine. Okay. Um. Yeah, you spot nothing. Nothing that seems out of the ordinary standing or worth of any value. Okay. Um, all right, so, yeah, Zanzian, you're leaning on the wall with that wound in your leg. Mm -hmm. Sora, you've regained consciousness after nearly being killed. Are you still on the ground? No, I got it. Okay. Any idea what happened here? Well, what happened was, I turned around the corner, and then he's got a dagger in his neck, well, and he's got a, she's got a dagger <laughs> in his thigh, and I was yeah, just Yeah, I know, like, oh. I, I was sorry to have missed that, uh, but I mean, like, this entire, like, death ship thing. Oh, no. Of the dead people. It was a raid. You know by who? Yes. Sure. Are we going to kill them? <laughs> yes. Cool. <laughs> Zanzian, right below you, below underneath the floor, you hear what seems to be rustling. 
I just the take off shift. for that direction. Okay. You watch as Anzian bolts it out of the captain's quarters. Just limping along. <laughs> uh, now that he's gone, can I pickpocket the dead captain? <laughs> yeah, you can. I'll fall asleep. Fucker. Yeah. Can I uh, investigate this room as well? I didn't yeah, see you anything. can. I didn't see anything, so I'm just going to go through the captain's pockets. Like, I'm not going to look around the rest of the place. All right. That's a solid 10. All right, everyone, just remember to bear with us. We're improv Um uh, I find a legendary sword. <laughs> the luck blade. Okay, there you go. Um, you find an opaque dark gray with red flex stone. Ooh. Can I arcana check the dark gray red flex stone? You can. <laughs> Thingy. Let's. A rogue. A 14. Uh, yeah, there's no magical properties about the stone. Uh, however, it, it looks very nice. <laughs> it's take, a pretty um, stone. Yeah, yeah. Do, I f- do I find anything in the room? I wrote a 10. A 10? For investigation. Um, so I want to find some stuff. <laughs> I want to take your things. <laughs> Please just let me steal all your things. I want to use your things for myself. You find an opaque blue stone. <laughs> Can I in another d- in the captain's uh, desk drawer. Can I or can I check? <laughs> you can. <laughs> you certainly can. It's D and D, okay? Arcana yeah, well, it's a nineteen. There's no magical properties about it. It's just what a beautiful stone. I go like, what if we touch our stones together? <laughs> we touch stones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you That's put your hot. stones together, and there's a slight clink. And nothing happens. Oh, <laughs> no. We may not know it now, but somewhere in the world we've unlocked the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, please let that be a thing. We go to open a door to a house, it's suddenly unlocked. It's weird because it should have been locked. <laughs> All right. Um, is there anything you want uh, to do there? I, I probably just sort of followed Zanzian. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. All right. So, Nifan, Anos, Zanzian, you have raced to right below the captain's... Um, quarters to figure out what that rustling is and you see that uh, when you pass by it the first time a lot of these barrels were stacked neatly but they seem to be tipped over now and one of them is open Mm -hmm. and empty do I know what was in the barrels no well no um, these barrels were empty to begin with okay okay yeah okay do I still kind of hear anything well perception you all may as well if you want natural 20 uh, yeah, as you kind of hone in on the sounds of your ship, you put your ear up against the hull, you do hear, like, light footsteps from below you that seem to be going towards the breach of your ship. Okay, I... They're very faint. I go towards the breach. All right, uh, as you all then carry and race over to... Where the hell are <laughs> Shut up and listen. You go to the breach of the hall, and as you're arriving there, you see one of the pirates that you talk to okay. in the tavern, currently making his... He looks like he's currently sneaking his way out. He's being very quiet, tiptoeing okay. around. What's our position? Like, where am I in relation to him? What's he wearing? So, you three currently are inside <laughs> the hall. Does he have? Is he naked? <laughs> yeah. You're inside the hall, uh, about halfway in your ship, and he is pretty much right at the breach, walking. He does oh, not see you How yet. far away? Uh... Up, uh, probably only 15 feet away. I fucking running long jump that motherfucker and attack him. <laughs> Holy Moses. All right, yeah, you quickly, well, you limp sprint because you do have a leg injury. Yeah, okay, that's right. <laughs> and as you go to tackle him, he unsuspectingly, he turns around at the very last second. All he sees is just you jump, grab him, and slam him to the ground. Okay. I put a dagger to his neck. <laughs> well, what are you doing? Oh. What is it? What do you think I'm doing? Uh, I'm about to kill you. <laughs> why, why, why would you do that? You come here, you destroy my ship, you slaughter my crew, oh. you murder my captain. Oh no, he didn't slaughter no crew, no. You don't You don't know the whole story. You don't know the whole story. They see, well, then you better hear start me out. talking. All right. Okay, we killed your whole crew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this, is this, is this Jack Sparrow? <laughs> 
But, but, we did it in the most humane way possible. <laughs> By cutting their throats one by one. <laughs> Kinda. You're not giving me a reason not to kill you. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, I know where the captain's treasure is, and you don't. Um, so if you want to find his treasure, you're going to need to keep me alive, hmm? I have sure on the captain's crew. Would I know where the captain's treasure is? He kept that secret from oh. everyone. Ooh, even his wife? You didn't have a wife. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you have a wife. I bet he doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> uh, How do you respond? I don't really care about the treasure that much. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little intrigued, okay. but I care more that they just killed my whole crew and captain and put a giant hole on my fucking enormous, beautiful ship. Okay. So. This guy has a silk track going hat, right? He As does. he's talking. What? <laughs> this, song, this kind of sucks. Rover, take the hat. I'm like, I don't care what you do with him. <laughs> put the hat on my head. Nice. I like that. I like this. Guy. Contract completed. <laughs> that was your contract. That was what? one of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh right, I forgot. Yeah. Where are the other two? Uh, uh I don't know. Uh, they're somewhere in the ship. In the ship, they're still, still here. Yeah, we all kind of hid. See, because a big beastie came up from the water. A uh, big beast. I'm gonna. Is he lying to me? Inside him. Okay. Shit. One's in the council. Inside him. Intimidate him. Die, Sora. Whatever you want. <laughs> We're gonna get ambushed, Sora. Eight for insight. Uh you believe him? Believe him. Believe him. I don't believe him. <laughs> uh, okay, you I can't tell. He's lying. I can't tell. Okay. You can't tell. I kind of believe him, but I'm gonna pretend that I don't believe him, and I'm gonna shake him. And slam his head against the like the deck, ah! and push the dagger a little deeper into his neck. Oh, okay. Wait, like, wait. All right, you better start spitting out the truth here. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, you mind removing the dagger just a wee bit? I push it in a little bit more. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll just tell you what happened here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, so we we planned to wait. Wait. You said this was your ship. Yes. Oh, we just, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, we, you didn't tell us that when we originally talked? Mm-hmm. All right, okay. Well, this is really uncomfortable. Uh, so we blew a hole in your ship, obviously. Uh, the first batch of thermite went wrong, and it just made a crater over there. Mm-hmm. But we got a new one in that mm-hmm. we stole off another vessel, uh, and we used that to blow up your ship. Uh, and it worked. It worked well. Mm-hmm. Um, then your crew put up a fight mm-hmm. in which we slaughtered them mm-hmm. uh, very brutally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> uh, into which we then found your captain who seemed to be scuffling around in his desk. Uh, and the other one of my other buddies went up and then you know, went right in the forehead. Mm-hmm. He, he did put up a bit of a fight. Um, but it was pretty easy. He wasn't that strong of a captain. Um, we fought, we fought stronger. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we took his little scroll that tells where the treasure was. Mm-hmm. It's current. Keep talking. <laughs> uh, it's nowhere. Uh huh. Yeah. Where? Uh, where it, is it? It's with one of my other mates. Do I believe him? Ah, uh, yeah, you do believe him. Okay. As his neck is currently ajar from the. Pressure the dagger. Um, other than that, all in all, I say it was a pretty good take. Pretty easy, not too difficult. A lot of loot. Mm-hmm. It was well earned. Alright, well. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of defense is this? He's not making it You can tell this is the idiot that just blindly told you everything mm-hmm. in the tavern. Well, my crew was completely worthless if they let a lot like you kill them all. My captain, though, that's not forgivable. Um. We're going to go for a little walk, see, and you're going to show me where your other meats are. Look at I'd, the flowers. <laughs> um, I don't know where they are, though. I'm quite unsure. Is he lying? <laughs> His eyes are kind of shifting back and forth. Okay. In your vision and then out of your vision. Okay. Uh, I don't know how much further I can put a dagger into his neck without actually killing him. I'm going to do a little bit more. And I'll be like, all right. <laughs> As you put a little more pressure, you know, some blood begins to draw. 
Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. I'll lead you to him. Just uh-huh. don't stab me in the neck, please. Uh-huh. I don't want to go out like your captain. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this guy's a fucking twat, but I was kind of like... <laughs> um, all right. Do we have an accord? No. You're at my complete mercy. I, I'm gonna... Uh, hey. <laughs> Keeping yeah. the dagger out is I'm going to take all of his weapons out of his sheets and throw them away. Oh, uh, yeah, you pull out his dagger and his sword. You just toss it to the side and okay. clangs onto the clutter. And then can I just do a quick pat down and make sure that's all of his, everything he was carrying? Roll investigation. Nine. Nine? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you don't find anything from the pat down. All right, cool. I slowly let him up. Okay. I'm keeping the dagger out of his neck. Uh, I appreciate the accord we have... T- Developed. All right. You don't kill me. I lead you to my friends. It's it's wonderful. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. They went back to the city. Okay. You yeah. said they were on the ship. Oh, did I? Yep. You did. They went back to the city. I don't think. Maybe. <laughs> Take me to them. Right now. All right. Um, They're gonna be so mad. <laughs> I really hope they listen to me right now. Um, mates. If you could just reveal yourself so I don't die, that would be wonderful. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we've been through a lot together. <laughs> uh, I'm at you, your fucking wedding. <laughs> you hear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was like. I swear, I swear, I swear they're in here. All right? They're here. They're just choosing not to reveal themselves. I don't know where they hid. Uh-huh. Have, we, have we arrived yet? Sorry, no. Oh yeah, you oh, you all are here now. I'm sure. Yeah. Can I do an investigation check to try to like find anyone? Yeah. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, you look up and there's one in the ceiling, <laughs> currently braced against the bars, <laughs> looking down on you guys. What's in the room? Uh, you guys are in the hall right now, so it's a lot of mostly. You're right by the where the blast was, so it's a lot of broken ex- uh, clutter. Uh, pretty much all the furniture here is just blasted to splinters and then piles. There's oh, charred gosh. bones. I, th- okay. I go to the nearest pile and start like throwing it up. Like, Hello, and I'm looking for him. <laughs> and I'm gonna like uh, send an arrow at the guy on the ceiling, just just on his arm or leg. You should fire an arrow. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, Nifan, yeah, you ju- you have a crossbow. Uh, short bow. Short bow. Yeah. All right. You take your short bow and you just go. You draw it back and <laughs> you release an arrow, and immediately you hear ah. <laughs> And the man from the rafters falls, but the arrow with such force actually went into the ceiling. Mm. And so his leg is hooked to the ceiling, and so he kind of swings outwards, and he's looking at you guys upside down. Oh my god. Ah, he's amazing. like he's screaming in pain. Well, how, how, how's everybody doing? All right. Then I'm going to call out, wherever you are, you better come out, otherwise whatever's going to happen to these guys is going to be even worse for you. Can I do, like, a deception? Can I just say, oh, I found you. Gotta come out. <laughs> I see you there. Let's see if anyone comes out. <laughs> yes, you can. You can roll intimidation. Z- Zanzian. <laughs> uh, that's just a four. Natural 20. Uh, okay. <laughs> Was he in the pile? Zanzian, as you threaten the last man who's in hiding, that it'll be worse for him. You hear a rustling from upstairs above you. Um, as you, uh, Sora, act like you found him, <laughs> uh, you hear the noises too and you think your plan worked. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, I'm glad that worked out. Good job, Sora. There's points. You hear the footsteps go no. all the way across away from you into the <laughs> ship, down the steps, and you see the other man, the other pirate, approaching you. Cool. I just um, say, it worked to myself. <laughs> yes. uh, my blokes are idiots. Uh, <laughs> hide in the ship. Oh, what a great plan. <laughs> All right, what are you? Just, if you're going to kill me, just do it quick. Okay. And I stab up my glaive. <laughs> All right. Uh, you sh- you press your glaive right into the chest cavity, yeah, right and he just goes, uh, and he drops to his knees, and he takes his final breath, and he flunks over. Cool. I take the glaive and search in his body. Yeah, yeah I search his body. Roll. All right. Uh, you pat through his pockets and everything, and you find a scroll. 
cool. Tie it up. Like tie it with a uh, small twine. I untwine the. You mind handing the, that over to me, please? I untwine it and I open it up and I read it. <laughs> All right, whatever. Uh, it's a map of the city. Okay. And one of the houses is marked with an X. It's by the uh, the barracks. Okay, I hand it to Zandy. Cool. All right. Well, we'll take it. We'll, we'll visit this place after. Uh, sure. I'll give you guys a cup since you guys helped me here. What about uh, us? You know. Uh, you still stab the one hanging from the ceiling. You stab him. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and currently he's facing away from you, so he doesn't see you doing this. And all of a sudden, you press the glaive through his back. And he goes, ah, and you see the utter shock on his face as the blood kind of goes through his mouth. Wow, okay. Drips down, and he just sways there, lifeless. I'm going to cut off his leg so he falls. Wow. What? I'm going to cut off his leg. I'm going to cut the arrow. <laughs> Holy fuck. All right, <laughs> you chop his leg like right up, right up right. slightly above the center of his thigh. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. And the body just goes, Oof. Wow, okay. I make way the other one. I'm like, should I kill this one too? No. At this point, you just you notice the utter crazy. shock on the one you have holding. Yeah, I, want, right I now. want this guy to join our party. Right. Um, <laughs> this your I'm, I'm gonna sheath my dagger and take it away from his neck. Like, uh, it doesn't matter. Let, I will let you go. Better. It's a bit uh, of an ouchie, isn't it? Uh, yeah. hey. Listen, sharp dagger. Who was the one who landed the final blow on the captain? <laughs> Not me, but the one with the grumbly voice. Like the one I stabbed? Yeah, the first one you stabbed. Yeah. Yeah. I got him. Don't worry. <laughs> all right, all right. He's dead. We'll let you go. Just know you owe me a debt. I, 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 you owe I, me your life. I will hold you to that. I will I will do anything that you ask. But do you, I should tell you one thing. We kind of made a pact. And you, you what you just did <laughs> kind of did some real bad. Okay. Uh, but you should be expecting something very demonic and dangerous to come with you within two to four weeks. So I bid you. I got prime though, so. That's <laughs> <laughs> two to three business days. Well, two to four weeks or t- tomorrow night. Um, I don't quite remember how it works. Uh, Either way, you're probably going to be dead. Why? Whatever. People have tried to come in before. What you What do? is that you're talking about? We made a pact with a demon. Uh-huh. Why? To take this ship. A deal with demon. So, so, yeah, so he could give us the supplies to take over the ship. He uh, originally suggested that he would just give us the power to be able to be unstoppable, uh-huh. but we said no. We just wanted the supplies. You just wanted a bunch of thermite? Yeah. So you made a pact. Well, that's how we get in the ship. So how come I'm in danger from this demon? Well, you... you we, we kind of owed a debt to him, and uh-huh. you killed two of the people that owed the debt, and he's going to be... I think he's probably going to be angry. We'll talk it out. He might, uh, he might, he might try to f- find you later. I All don't right. know. That's fine. Whatever. Just be aware we'll of for... when that comes. What's his name? Is he being honest? <laughs> uh, I never actually got his name, but right, he was terrifying. Fair. Yeah. Is he being honest? Insight. Nap 20. 21. Yeah, 21. He's being honest. Okay. <laughs> He's being very honest. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for the heads up, I guess. Uh, no. Um, no problem. In the meantime, you have a crew, right? You're a no, that, that was my crew. You just stabbed two of them. That was two people. You have a crew. I thought you were a captain. Uh, Three people well, killed all your crew? <laughs> technically, now I'm a captain because you convinced me to. Thank you for that. You yeah, made me welcome. think I should have my own ship. But I don't have that yet because you killed them, so... Uh, no, seriously. You three killed all these people? What happened... You said you were coming with a whole bunch of people to kill my crew. Yeah, and then we made a pact. We just thermited everything. <laughs> no, for real. Three wow. of you. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right. But you have... We didn't want to lose our crew because right, it's kind of hard to get a crew. But you still have a crew. Yeah, what, what? I guess. You just said you didn't want to lose your crew, so obviously you have a crew. Uh, fine, you're catching me at all my wrong excuses. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Listen, fine. I don't want to kill you, but I will. I'll stab him in the foot. Don't but... stab him. I'm not stab him. Just don't stab him at all. <laughs> He's a gentle poke. Right Stop fucking fire. around. Uh, okay. I kill her. Listen, don't stop. this is what's going to happen. Your friend's unstable. Yeah, I know. We'll <laughs> talk about it later. She's nice. She helps people out. There's water everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> get your crew together. We have this lovely ship that suddenly is captainless and crewless. Fix up the ship. I'll come back as captain. You can be my first mate. So that when my business is done in the city, we can go sail and 
<laughs> this is weird. <laughs> I'm being completely serious because my crew is dead. We can go fishing. Well, it's the best offer I got. So, all right, I will go find my crew. I just hope they haven't abandoned me by now. <laughs> well, um, tell them they have a ship and steady work and a captain that fears nobody. Okay, steady ship, a lot of work. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> They're sailors. They won't care. All right. I, I'll, I'll go do that. Thank you for not you yeah. stabbing me. Yeah. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. One week, one week. This ship is in pristine condition. One week? One week. All right. We can do that. I think I can, do, <laughs> yeah. I can definitely do that. He's going to I, I put my glove away. I walk up and I put my hands on his shoulders and I'm like, I'm sorry. I killed your friend. <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of nice looking, but ah, uh, you're scary. <laughs> Flirt. Right. Hey, what's your name? I don't want to give that to you. Why? You're my first mate. <laughs> I I, I'm telling you, I should not give that name to you. Tell and he watches, he takes a step back, and he stumbles, and he falls backwards. Okay, I put uh, my foot on his neck, and I say, Tell me your name. I say, I'm not pushing down too hard. Just oh, like, back to this. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> can I intimidate him and say, don't let me use my stone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah wrong when, you, when you put them together, they're unstoppable. <laughs> I'd like to help him with his role. Awesome. Okay, do I recognize these stones that they're holding? No. <laughs> uh, you do, yeah. It's uh, <laughs> Captain's Prize Gemstone. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hey, hand those over. I right run right away. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of treasure where we're going. Give me those. Those are mine. A ten? Um, the, what, the red right. one's mine, the blue one is his. We're like the Power Rangers. Uh, all right, all right. Don't, just don't do whatever that stone does. Uh, right. <laughs> my name is Brackus. Does that name mean anything to me? Uh, well, it was... He was one part of the crew that kind of yeah. you fuck you messed up you destroyed yeah. a lot of theirs so yeah you know who he is cool you know Brad because you just couldn't remember his name because you remember him being that big idiot yeah <laughs> why wouldn't you tell me your name I, I need the pact the more information you know the worse it's gonna be so I was just trying to look out for my new captain oh, nice. <laughs> new captain my neck. <laughs> why did you say new captain <laughs> step off my neck no I, uh, I, I slink out of the room <laughs> I saw I no you don't you're it. distracted motherfucker I right. still saw you had the stone I, will, I mean I just don't know you're my captain yet because you might be dead tomorrow so. <laughs> alright here's the deal if I'm dead you can have the ship because I won't care Oh, wonderful. <laughs> that, that sounds super. Just don't cross me or I'll track you down and kill all of you. I think I'm gonna pass out. Okay, I take my foot <laughs> off his neck. Do uh, we have an understanding? An accord? An accord. Hardly. <laughs> 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 uh, yes, we, we do. Yeah. Okay. We have an accord. I'll help him up. Okay. <sighs> do I believe that he's not gonna double cross me? You do, yeah. Sweet. All right. You know that you've. Successfully scared the ass out of him. Okay, good. Fear is a good motivator. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna go find me and Gwen now. Thanks. Take care of the ship. No, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running away towards the city. Uh, as not, you all kind of kill you, <laughs> as you all travel away from the boat, he's uh, gonna he, kill me. He's kind of like giving you a nice hand gesture wave as you do so. All right, like au revoir. See you later, Brackus. <laughs> um. He's gonna kill me! And I'm running. running. Yeah. Okay, so you guys all head back to the city. Do you do any any stone interaction? I, I just want to talk to her. I'm not gonna attack her or anything. <laughs> I saw you kill those people! I didn't kill anybody! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll say as you guys are walking through the You, kill people. People. <laughs> you so, did all the killing! <laughs> yeah, so as you guys are walking through the storming rain back to the city, I, I'll give you guys time to interact with each other as you make your okay. way there. Alright. <laughs> he don't hurt me! I'm not gonna hurt you. I don't even have my weapons dropped. I'm not even being aggressive. Look, that stone is mine! And now. that stone that you have, Sora. Sorry about your neck. I just saw my captain get killed or dead, whatever. He raised no, me cool. as a boy. I was in a little bit, you know, of shock. No, it's all good. Um, I wasn't aware. It's all, yeah, alright. As long as you understand. Um. Yeah, those stones were his prized possessions, so if you could please hand them over. They're my magic stones! Uh, we're gonna go to the city that Matthew found. There's a whole bunch of treasure there, apparently. So, like, we're gonna, we can divvy it up. I want your cut, then, if you're gonna take my cool rock. No. Because <laughs> that rock is mine now. 
<laughs> That's mine. Oh my god, we're going to a giant treasure hoard, and we're going to give you a whole bunch of it. <laughs> give me the fucking rock. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> can I do a check to see how uh, how much this gem is worth? You definitely can. Yeah, roll intelligence. I'm going I'm oh. to as well. Would it be intelligence or would it be... Yeah, no, it would be intelligence. Yeah. It's priceless to me. I rolled a 12. I got a 13. 14. It's worth like 50 gold pieces. It's not even that valuable. Roughly. It is trinkets. Yeah, but if you put them together, it's 100 gold pieces. <laughs> 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 can you please just give me the stones? Clink. Fine, but I want, like... When we split it out, how many are there? It's three, four, five. So, like, 100 divided by five is. What is that? 20. 20? 20? Okay, well, you get 18 and I get 22. No, just give me the stone. Fuck! Fine! I'm gonna give the stone. <laughs> okay, you do. Look! Look, <laughs> nothing, Sora. Where are we currently? Like, I'm just. You're currently of... about halfway to the entrance for the city, the, the portal or the beam that will lead you upwards. Uh, as you're passing by, though, you notice that the hole that uh, Del Mac made. Uh, is actually rebuilding itself wow. and has a slight blue glow to it. Okay. You assume that this is the magic keeping him locked in there. It's like the environment around this. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, the environment <laughs> around this. Sorry, I, mis- I misinterpreted that. Okay. Uh, the environment around you, to the east is the forest that you guys originally were in to locate the entrance to the lair. Yeah. Uh, currently, you're now in like a plain grass field. It's just green grass because anything below the city is just plains. Just plain fields. Um, and yeah, you're about halfway th- to the entrance, which is in the center. So above you is a lovely two-leveled city uh, held together by large rocks. And then you notice that the, those rocks are emitting blue energy. It's kind of wisping in between the cracks. Uh, and then there's also like light blue domes over both levels. You notice that there's a beam that's connecting both the levels together, and then a large beam that's connecting the ground to the first level. Oh my God. Uh, and then behind you is where obviously the sea is and the busted up ship, and still Brachus just giving you the wave. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, and then yeah, heavy rain. Uh, it's very cloudy. The clouds are gray and dark. Uh, you see lightning striking through them. Every now and again, there's a thunderous boom and a crackle. Okay. Um, I will give back the stone, but I'll say, all right, I'll give this back to you, but you owe me. I owe you nothing. It was mine to begin with. You just stole it from me. Well, that's not entirely true, but I mean, technically we stole it from the dead guy. Uh-huh. I cast the Fine Steed. <laughs> <laughs> I cast Fine Steed, and I summon an elk from the depths of the earth. It's a celestial. Oh, um, summon an elk. An elk, like a celestial elk, is my fine steed. All right, you the, to travel like a hundred feet. Oh, we'll come with us through the portal, and I'll just ride it through town. You watch as like this white uh, liquid-like oval energy is beside you, forming and spiraling, and then a nice, perfect elk comes rising. Just through. wait, it's loading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it takes only about a couple of seconds. Yeah, that's that shiner. And then uh, <laughs> the portal just kind of sucks up into the elk itself. Nice. Wait, what? Yeah, like the, the white liquidy energy just is part of the elk, so it just sucks oh, back nice. up with it. I reform on top. And I say, this is uh, Xanathar. <laughs> <laughs> Xanathar? <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I, I blanked. <laughs> yeah. This is my elk. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was, okay. It was getting really tense. And with that, you have approached the entrance back to the city of the beam, and that is where we'll leave off on this episode of Nat 20.